welcome everybody to the People's Church of Divine Prophecy. Thank you for choosing to come here on Mother's Day. I'm sure most of us have a mother to go see or, a mother, or be celebrated as a mother today. So thank you for spending a little bit of your time here today. I just as some housekeeping rules, it's silence your cell phones. Uh, there's drinks in the back to help yourself at any time in the refrigerator or hot drinks in the back table. And the bathrooms are down the hall, quick right, quick left, if you'd like to use those facilities during the service. And uh, I'd like to have Eddie light the candles symbolizing the unity of body, mind, and spirit to begin the service. Spirit, we give thanks for this moment in time, this moment in light, hope, and happiness. May we all open our minds and hearts to this moment that we dedicate to that purpose and that energy. And we feel it flowing through us and to those around us. And may we continue to feel this every waking moment through the coming days. Amen. 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 As you can see, we have Kathy, Reverend Kathy Quick playing the harmonium today, so the next uh, portion is a reading from the pastor, something I've seen this past week and tried to put into a spiritual perspective. I guess we all have a lot of physical challenges in our lives a lot of the time, and the older we get, it seems the more we have. older your children get, the more their challenges change too. They never stop being your children. And there's always these social interactions you have to be involved in. I guess something that came to me this week is how people speak to you when they come to you, what they share with you, what they project at you, and how you react back. <clears throat> and my challenge this week is to not to take things personal that were meant personal. <laughs> you know, and, you know that, that's really the trick because if you respond in kind you're really stepping outside your spiritual discipline and it is my first reaction oh yeah <laughs> you know, those kind of things but over the years with my spiritual discipline I've managed to keep that oh yeah inside and not let it determine my outer action Hopefully, at some point, I'll stop having that reaction and won't have to control it. But I'll accept being able to not let it drive my outer actions at this point. That's, that's a step up for me. So I guess if you're like me, you're still going to have the reactions, but you need to let, take a couple deep, calm breaths and just say, do I really want to act that way now? Do I really want to go back at it that way and just fuel the situation? But do I just want to feel God and just let them, maybe they need to say that to me. Maybe they need to have, maybe that's what I'm there for. Is so they can get it out. So they can connect in that fashion and perhaps help them relieve some of their stress. And it doesn't require a response from me. It just requires listening sometimes. So I guess that's been my spiritual lesson this week is not taking things that were meant personally to be personal. Because you can't really control the other person. All you can do is control yourself, act within your spiritual discipline, and not be surprised when you have that oh yeah reaction inward. Just control it, take a few breaths, and try not to let it affect too much of your outer actions. If you can't let it control, keep it from controlling all your outer actions, keep it from controlling some of them. You know, celebrate the small successes that you had with what you do. Don't let the negatives overwhelm the small positives that you make, the small progressions you make, the small successes 
that you make with your life and practicing a spiritual discipline. If we were all perfect spiritual beings, we wouldn't be encompassed by flesh. So, you know, we're going to have that as long as we have that flesh within us and around us. We're going to have that instinctual bump, that instinctual uh, reaction initially. So just take it, breathe through it, and try to be the best person you can be at the moment. In case you don't know what instrument that is, that's called a harmonium. Sounds like an organ, but it's actually a harmonium. And Kathy's been practicing a lot this week, trying to get ready for this. And she's so stop and give her a little bit of compliment about what she's doing because she stepped forward out of love and hope and has been a great job. I always have to celebrate people when they step forward like that, you know, especially when they're a little unsure about it. So. The next portion is the healing portion. <coughs> And uh, we're going to have Ash can lead us in the healing port, the healing meditation. Uh, Kathy and Judy will be doing the contact healing on the side there. Um, we'll start by reading the prayer for spiritual healing on the back of the hymnal. It's bold on the back. I ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in need of help, and to restore me to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and the power of God. During the meditation, you'll hear this sound, which indicates that the healing chair has become vacant, and you can enjoy the meditation as well as go over there for contact healing. So we'll Take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Just relax your body. <coughs> Sit in a comfortable position where there is no tension on your physical body. very peaceful presence within. Connect with this peaceful presence while you breathe. Repeat to yourself gently. 
I am at peace within and with my surroundings. Focus on your breath. With each inhale, I am at peace. As you connect to this peaceful rhythm of your breath, feel the peaceful sensations flowing throughout your body, your mind, yourself inside this beautiful crystal 
white light. Your body is relaxed. Your mind is quiet. you breathe, feel your breath connecting you with your heart. Become aware of your heart chakra in the center of your chest. With each breath, Feel your heart chakra expanding and contracting. Connect the rhythm of your breath.
feel God's love embracing you, comforting you, and healing you. vibration of love everywhere in vision mother earth you see this love energy embracing mother earth it's moving in a slow motion as it moves it's raised the vibrations of the consciousness of the earth Feel this love energy touching humanity's heart and activating God's unconditional love within each heart. Let there be love on earth. Let it begin with us. Let there be love on earth. Let it begin with us. And so it is. Slowly come back to your physical sense. demonstration and today on Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day to everyone is Hargobind. 
I said your name correctly. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I met him once before. It was at the, uh, Nash, the soft opening of the International Health and Healing Center across the river, and he did a gong meditation coupled with Kundalini Yoga. I have a background of Kundalini Yoga many years ago, and I feel a common bond with him based on this, and it's very inspirational, the breathing, and he cu couples it with a gong sound, which is something I've never experienced before. So without further ado, please welcome part of it. So I want to talk to you about, like you were saying, a little bit about Kundalini Yoga and, and the gong. And uh, what I would like you to do, though, with me is to tune in with a mantra that we use. It's Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. The first one is O-N-G. And also we use, everything we use in Kundalini Yoga is a sacred technology. So it's like there's nothing to believe in. And I always ask people when they come to my class to have an experience inside of yourself, what's happening with the mantra, what's happening in your energetic system. And in the beginning, we bring the hands together in prayer pose. And what we're doing, the technology behind that is we're bringing the left and the right hemispheres of the brain together to create a space for neutrality. Then the thumbs, the back of the thumbs, will press slightly into the sternum. You'll find a notch where they fit. And the vagus nerve is right here. So when you press against the vagus nerve, you're giving your body the command to relax. So let's just inhale one time. And just hold your breath. And exhale. And then bring your hands together in a prayer pose. Press your thumb slightly into your sternum. And then we'll inhale to begin the mantra. Om Namo. Slide inhale through the open mouth. Guru Dev Namo. to seven. Mm -hmm. And I play a much larger gong, so you'll notice the difference in the energy from the gongs. Like this one, if you look at the symbol on it, that's the symbol for the planet Venus. Mm -hmm. So this is called a planetary gong. And the vibration is always different, depending on who's in the room, depending on the way the planets are lined up in the universe. Um, each person will get what they need out of the vibration of the gong. And it's a healing instrument, so it's actually called an ancient healing gong. And the technology behind that, what's happening is it, it will unlock your, your thought. Like, let's say you're in a loop thought. It's called monkey mind. Like, you know, you've experienced <laughs> when, you're, when you're trying to go to sleep, right? And this yeah. thought keeps going and going. 
So something like the gong or a mantra, a good mantra like we just did, where that mantra is kicking out that vibration, and what it's doing is it's vibrating your hypothalamus. So once the hypothalamus is vibrated, you're able to unlock from that monkey mind thought, and then you're able to connect through your crown chakra to the universe to a better, more useful thought that immediately makes you feel better. And also I want to thank you guys for the, like, the nice energy of the harmonium, and it did do a good job on that. And you speaking, and the meditation, and the healing, it's all really great. It makes me feel good come up here to speak, you know. I feel like I'm definitely among friends, and it's a piece of cake, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to play some gong for you, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out up here, then I'm going to pick up the gong, and I'm going to walk around the room. So hopefully, you know, not hopefully, guaranteed, everybody will get sucked out of it, you know. And so you can watch for a little while if you want to, but I encourage you to close your eyes and go inside and focus on your third eye point and, you know, just feel what's happening, have an experience with it. You know, you might see some colors or you might take off and have a nice little trip or you'll feel something, whatever, just enjoy it. And just give me a second to tune in with a silent mantra.
Thank you.
inhale deeply, come back into the space. And so as we tune in with that mantra, then we tune out with another one. It's a long, one long sigh and a short nom, and it means truth is my name. So if you inhale deeply, sigh.